Maxwell Jacob Freeman has been talking and he has been saying some stuff, brother. He took to Twitter because ESPN earlier this month published a list of the top professional wrestlers under the age of 30 in 2023 and AW world champion MJF was critical of it on Wednesday. MJF sent out the following public message to WWE Logan Paul via Twitter slash X. Not really a fan of the new name change, but guys, I guess it is what it is. Logan Paul, very upset apparently that he was, uh, you know, not very high in this list in the ESPN top 30, under 30. And for me, Logan Paul, man, he is, he's such a wrestler. I actually thought this might have been MJF burying him, but MJF kissing the ass of Logan Paul. We're going to get stuck straight into it. And he said, and I quote, Yo! Logan Paul, I'm a big fan, and I heard you were very upset with your ranking in the ESPN Top 30, Under 30. I couldn't agree with you more. The list was flawed. What the hell is a Vikingo? Would love to comment on Impulsive Logan's podcast and talk about the list as well. It's the fact AEW is about to run the biggest show in the history of the sport on August 27th. Hopefully your boss and our mutual friend, Jolly Old St. Nick, can... Well, I'll lie. P.S. I wrote this while sipping on a prime. Yours sincerely, numero uno, MJF. End of quote. Of course, MJF, you know, he's obviously staying with AEW, but he's given the illusion that he's away to die. Be, oh, jo- jolly, sound old Nick. Nick can. Of course, the main man that is in charge of uh, WWE, uh, well, the, the MVP of WWE, Nick Cairn. Apparently, he has actually helped revitalise profits and big offence in the last three years. So, <laughs> round of applause to Nick Cairn. What a guy. What a guy. It's mental to think, like, you've got Nick Cairn and Tony Cairn. You, you, you might think, hmm, two guys at the top of the wrestling food chain. Are they? No, you bet your bottom dollar. They're not related. Not in a month of Sundays are these two guys related, but who do I prefer it? I mean, I'm going to go with Nick Khan because I don't actually know Nick Khan and I know Tony Khan's a little bitch. So Nick Khan for me is the better guy, undoubtedly. But, you know, MJF appearing on Logan Paul's podcast, that would be quite interesting. You know, we've seen a lot of people appear on Logan Paul's podcast like uh, Cody Rhodes, Triple H. I believe Shawn Michaels even appeared on it. Other crazy people have appeared did Brock Lesnar appear on it? I think Brock Lesnar might appear. I've never actually listened to it. I mean, I, I don't mind Logan Paul, but I'm not one for podcasts unless it's actually, you know, like 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 Le- like Austin talking about the good old days and like, you know, Flair or Bischoff or JR or Jericho. Like Logan Paul, I mean, he's all right, like, but I would never go out my way to listen to his podcast at the end of the day. But I think MJF appearing on Logan Paul's podcast would be quite interesting and uh, you can clearly see, though, that he's kissing Logan Paul's ass. He's hoping here that Logan Paul mentions AEW and maybe promotes a wee bit of advertising for the uh, the, uh, big, the big event. Wembley Stadium, brother. I'm pretty sure that is what MJF is angling for here. Maybe he's angling for something different. I'm not too sure. But at the end of the day, we'll have to wait and see, guys. So that's going to do it here for Fog Wrestling here on AEW World Champion. MJF sends out a public message to WWE's Logan Paul. A public message. This is a public message. Are you ready? MJF, Logan Paul, New York City, Wembley Stadium. Oh, but aye, that's what we're going to say. Out. I'm, I'm singing, man. I was singing in the NXT. I love, I love pro wrestling. I was singing in the NXT with a few guys. Come on, get in, get in the fun because wrestling's great it is not